A woman, cast adrift, washes ashore on an island paradise. Her mind blown clean by tropical island breezes. Or maybe it was her massive concussion. The point is, her mind has been erased and now she is as innocent as a child who might have brain damage. But enough doctor talk. Just listen to the wonderful flute music. But she is not alone. A man. His mind also dulled to a childlike state. Two that used to be so close, now made strangers by tropical breezes and or definitely head wounds. Will they rediscover their lost romance? Or will they eat each other? For those are the two paths of... Flute Island! Before man and woman can learn to love, they must learn to survive. Spearfishing takes patience, focus, and cunning. For to draw your food from the sea is an art that... Oh, he's already got one. But his amateur thrashing has alerted his remaining prey. There will be no second fish. Oh, man. He is gonna get so sick of fish. But nature strives for balance. On one side of the island is unearned abundance, on the other, a scarcity. If she cannot produce fire by nightfall, she will surely die. How in the... As predicted. As beautiful as this paradise is, it is equally treacherous. She admires his muscles, his strong features, and the way sweat collects under his nipples. Mm, that's nice, too. As with Adam and Eve, so the serpent sparks the sexuality. Well, now there's barf on the beach. Ungak? Ungak? Ungak. Ungak. I think Ungak is their word for coconut. Emboldened by primal feelings, she makes a daring move. And the man, feeling nature's throb, runs away? Are, are you kidding me? Flute Island? More like Blue Ball Island. The simple wonders of nature are quite breathtaking. But I am not the only one enjoying the view. Something inside her stirs. She knows that she should look away, but she cannot. Are they serious? Right to sleep? I can't take this anymore! There we go. Ah, that should get the ball rolling. And as the two lovers remembered what nature has always known, the narrator took a break to do something that is also natural. Something he needed both hands for. 